I'm going to show you the prompt that I use, how I structure that prompt. I'm going to show you how it works in practice with an example. Gems are like pre-saved prompts. And a prompt is an instruction, right? Now, we all learned how to do search back in the early 2000s, right, when Google came out. And search was the skill we had to learn in order to navigate the internet and take advantage of it. Prompts are instructions. And we instruct an AI to do something for us. And in most cases, you jump onto a chat and you've got to instruct the AI to do something for you. And you might have felt sometimes it loses its memory, right? Like after a little while, the things you asked it to do in the past seem to drop off. It can be a bit forgetful, right? And we've got to re-prompt it and re-ask it to do things. A gem is a saved prompt. It's a prompt that's there whenever you need it so you don't have to keep asking it the same set of questions every single time. So we can access prompts in our little window here. We're in gemini.google.com. We just put a little cursor over here to the menu and we can go to gems. And Google are nice enough to provide a couple of great gems to get you started as ideas. But as Pete would have gone through the other week, we can create our own gems, which are our own saved prompts. And I have a team of advisors that I've created. My compass, my advisory team, my board members that help me make more effective decisions. We're going to talk about a little bit of that today. So here's my executive team. Not my actual executive team like Red and Pete and everybody else, but my AI executive team, my compass that helped me make smarter decisions. I've got an executive strategic advisor. I've got a growth and marketing advisor, a compass that helps me work out how to manage product decisions or marketing decisions. As a CEO, I'm doing a lot of like terms and conditions reviews and things like that. And I've often would have in the past had to have read term sheets. I've got a contracts advisor. I also am responsible for bringing in amazing talent to this business. So I've got a talent recruitment advisor. I've also got a few other things like Pete gave me an interesting one the other day around helping me manage my travel and for assessing people's competency in their roles. But the list goes on and you could be building out advisors or little compasses for any role in your business, any team member, any area that you need help. And to give you an example, I recently used this contracts advisor and saved myself circa $3,000 in contract law fees from our legal advisor just by asking a couple of questions. Where in the past, I've provided a set of terms and conditions to my legal advisor and clock starts the moment the email gets sent right and you get the bill a month later and you oh God, that feels a bit uncomfortable. Now, although it is a legal advisor, it can get me half the way there, 60 or 70% of the way there. Hell, even 20% of the way there, you're paying by the hour or by the minute is pretty good. So these compasses are really helpful to brainstorm ideas. They're really helpful to get recommendations. They're really good to help you navigate decision-making and think through how you might message or word things to your team. We're going to break into each one of these. I'm going to show you the prompt that I use, how I structure that prompt. I'm going to show you how it works in practice with an example. I'm going to start with my executive compass. This is my executive advisor. And the way that I've structured my saved prompt for a gem is a little bit like a position description. Now, that's telling in itself and that we're creating these gems and these prompts, these little AI helpers, to be or take on positions in our business. So the prompt that I'm using here is... You're a strategic advisor with 20 years of experience in industry, which in my case would be managed services, IT, serving to boards and existing executive team and CEO. So I'm stating the role that I want them to take. Then I'm stating the purpose and the goals that I want to achieve out of this gem. So it's going to act as a strategic advisor to IT Genius of ITGenius.com. It's going to provide useful executive level advice and brainstorming assistance. It's going to use a critical decision-making framework that I'm going to add to this gem, and I'll show you what that means in just a moment. And it's going to do all these different things. It's going to help me navigate team calls. It's going to provide specialized advice for my particular industry. And it's going to use my position description and actually my Enneagram, which is like my personal behavioral and personality analysis, to really tailor some of its recommendations. And then this is how I want it to work. I want it to greet me respectfully and professionally because I'm an important CEO. It's going to acknowledge my inquiry and take a look at any information that I might be attaching. And then it's going to analyze that and it's going to summarize and say, is this what you've asked me to do? 
And then it'll structure its advice and provide actionable recommendations. You're going to see this in practice in just a minute. Okay, eventuality is important to me. So I've put some points in there and I've set the tone of how I want it to present to me. Now, I've pasted this little hobby. We can create a new gem by hitting the new gem button here. But here's one I prepared earlier. I copy pasted that prompt that I showed you one minute ago straight into here. And of course, I updated it with my name and the name of the company and things like that. But here's what makes gems really special. I can save a knowledge base in that I want it to refer to every time it makes a query. And what does an executive advisor need? It needs access to my business plan, my strategic plan. I'm a bit of a, a risk nerd. That's my background in risk management and resource planning for mining and construction. So I've got my risk management framework in here and I've got a risk my insurance company added as well. So I've put in some other information here. I've put in my position description. I've also put in the position descriptions of my executive team who all would have some degree of input into any decisions that we make in the business and have accountabilities. And I've got even a bit cheekier. I'll put my Enneagram in, which is an Enneagram if you're not familiar with it is like a behavioral assessment, a personality assessment. So it knows how I think. I've also put a framework in for decision-making called the critical decision-making framework. You could add whatever you want in here. If you had a brand and style guide, if you had a any kind of strategy document, maybe something if you've gone public or you've gone out for investors, you might have investor reports and things like that. In the future, I expect we'll be able to go and put in a sheet with our P&L on it and our financials. But my experience to date is that Gemini is still like getting its head around computing sheets and numbers as well as I would like. But I think that's coming soon. So you can upload a PDF of your P&L or whatever in here as well. There is a maximum of only 10 knowledge sources though. Let's ask it a question. Let's see. Ask it a really simple question. I've asked some pretty, pretty hectic stuff in here in the past, but let's say, okay, we're seeing significant growth in our US customer base. And I like to think through how I structure the business for growth from international sources. I could ask a far more complicated question than this if I wanted to, but let's start simple, right? Just a second. As it reads our knowledge base and everything that is in part of our gem. And now it's come back and said, okay, based on everything you've provided, we're going to take a look at your strategic alignment, the operation and financial implications, and risk management, everything I need as an executive to make decisions. It's let me know that it's reviewed all of my documents. It's even said that, yes, okay, your strategic plan confirms that North America expansion is a, I think, oh, but now I said, I have some clarifying points. What aspects of the business structure do you see most concerned about? Let's just start with that. And I might say something like, I'm concerned about tax compliance in the jurisdictions I operate in? Really simple question. And I won't dig too deep into this. I just want to show how this kind of works. So this has now come back with some advice and it's given me some step-by-step points based on my critical decision framework on what the problems are, the kinds of questions that I need to go and answer, and then what I should do next. I need to go and obtain information from these people. I should do a nexus analysis. I've got some assumptions that I need to examine and different points of view from different team members. And it's more or less given me a game plan here. If I really want to, I can go copy response, go dump this in a document somewhere and there's my strategic plan or my project brief or whatever I like. If you liked this video, we've got plenty more on the channel covering this topic and much, much more.